Within this lesson, I want to demonstrate the dynamic capability of now that we've got our content available within PHP, our JSON file is being generated. I can also generate some content, pull it in from a database. Uh, so to simulate this, I'm going to show you how we can add in some dynamic content into PHP. So here we're setting the name for Jack. I've added in a function that's going to generate a random string with a length of 10. And we'll see how this translates out when you go into our PHP file. We see that now we're getting this random name and when I'm pulling it through here, I'm also generating a random name. So this shows us uh, the dynamic capabilities that we now have with generating content using PHP. And this is going to be the same thing if you hook up your database, uh, loop through the uh, returned results from the database, you can additionally have, now I know these don't really look like names, uh, but this was just to be able to demonstrate that we're able to generate content dynamically in PHP and simulating pulling in content from multiple sources and outputting it as a JSON formatted content and then we're able to pick that up within JavaScript and pull in that content within our HTML code using Ajax. So this was a quick demonstration of what we can do with PHP and I'm going to include all of the source code for the PHP files as well in the upcoming lesson uh, and there isn't, uh, there isn't really any change within the JavaScript. We're still pulling it in the same way as we've been doing in the previous lessons. So I'm just going to only include that PHP code in case you want to check that out, try it out for yourself and see what you can get it to do. Uh, and also remember that PHP code is, runs on the server, so you do need to have a server running in order to run PHP code, uh, so such as localhost, and that's where XAMPP comes in, gives you the ability to run a local machine right within your own computer and allows you to run PHP code on your computer locally. So that's something to keep in mind when you are practicing the PHP code.